More than 400 power outages have been reported in Baldwin County. The beach there is a mess, too. This is a live look from Orange Beach right near the pass. The curfew will take effect at 8 o'clock tonight. Some roadways are already flooded this afternoon as Sally creeps closer to the coast. Debbie Williams comes to us live from Gulf Shores with the very latest there. Debbie? Yeah, we've been watching this torrential rain all day long, all morning long. It continues now. The waves building right behind me. The conditions not expected to get any better. The impacts of Hurricane Sally already being felt all up and down the coast. Sally pushes the Gulf of Mexico onto the beaches of Gulf Shores all the way to the boardwalk. Waves of 10 to 15 feet breaking in the surf zone, the most obvious signs of a storm still offshore. And while Sally is expected to be a water event, rain and storm surge, the wind cannot be underestimated. As it ripped up one of the canopies on the boardwalk at Gulf Place, the wind also knocking down power lines, leaving hundreds waiting for the lights to come back on. Further inland, torrential rains have started to overtake local roadways like Windmill Ridge Road in Gulf Shores. The rain also helping to send Little Lagoon over its banks. And along the Fort Morgan Peninsula, Sally is putting on quite a show, but not one that should be taken lightly. Folks in areas like this that are known to flood are being asked to move away from the coast until the storm passes. And you're taking a live look at the Gulf of Mexico right now. You know, Gulf Shores is known as a big beach, small town. Well, that big beach is going away with every wave right now. We want to tell you, uh, you had mentioned, Devin, about the curfew in Orange Beach. Gulf Shores is doing that same thing, 8 to 6 tonight and tomorrow night. They're trying to keep as many people off the road as possible. And you should also know that the bridges, those high-profile bridges over Perdido Pass, the toll bridge, and over ICW, if the wind gets to sustain 45 miles per hour, they will close those bridges. Live in Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, WKRG, News 5.